Hi, ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey, folks, today we're going to do a follow up video to a video that we done over four years ago. Okay, it's on how to clean a dirty baseball cap. Okay, um, we done a video four years ago of me cleaning this Carolina hat, and as you can see, it's dirty again. So, we're going to demonstrate that tonight as well. Um, the video that we done had over 336,000 views. Um, it's had over 300 comments. And tonight we are going to answer some of the top 10 most prominent questions that you good people have had on this uh, procedure of washing this hat. So would you like to begin with the questions there, Mint Hill Tina? Okay, one of the most common questions is wanting to know the temperature of the water that when you wash the hat. Temperature of the water, okay? Typically warm to hot, okay? I'm going to go ahead and cut the water on. We're going to put it on warm and we're going to start filling the sink up here as you're asking some more questions. Go right ahead. Okay, and then um, in the previous video you said for a couple of hours to leave it soaking. How long is a good amount of time to leave those in there? Typically an hour or so, or until you see most of the dirt lifted up out of the hat. Hour, two hours tops, maybe. And that should be plenty of time. Okay, and you referenced Purple Power in the other video, and lots of people want to know what Purple Power is. Purple Power is an industrial strength degreaser that you can usually purchase at your auto parts supplier. Um, I don't have any of the Purple Power brand here tonight, but what I do have is uh, Zep brand industrial purple cleaner and degreaser that you can purchase at Home Depot or Lowe's, and we'll use a little bit of that, little bit of that tonight. Okay, and if um, if you don't have actual grease on your hat and it's just sweat stains. Do you really need a degreaser or is there something else you can use? Not really. Typically if you don't have like a ground in grease, which I'm a mechanic by trade, so a lot of times my hats do get greasy. If you don't really have grease on there, probably just the laundry detergent itself will be just fine for um, getting most of the dirt out of it. Uh, one thing you may want to use is maybe a little toothbrush to kind of brush any of the parts of the hat that are a little bit soiled. but but typically you would not need the degreaser for that. What would you say about using bleach? Bleach, uh, would not use bleach unless maybe it was a solid white hat and I would not use very much because sometimes bleach can start deteriorating the fibers of cloth. There were also some people concerned with leaving a hat soaking and what it would do to the brim especially if the brim had cardboard in it. Yeah, typically most hats do have some sort of cardboard brim, but remember that you're just, you're actually soaking it and then you're gonna clean it and you're gonna rinse it and you're gonna dry it right away. So typically there shouldn't be any problems with, you know, rotting of the cardboard or anything like that. As long as it, it can get wet, as long as it don't stay wet and it can be allowed to dry, you should be okay. So will this process work with any type of material? Well, that I'm not 100% sure of. I mean, I know some hats uh, may be made out of some type of um, different type of material that may be more sensitive to harsh cleaners and so forth. So I cannot properly answer that question. And that's all the questions we have. Okay, well, let's get started here with uh, showing you how to do this again. So once again, we got some warm water that we put in here. We're gonna take about a half a cup of the uh, laundry detergent, when poured in, we're going to throw our ball cap in here. Now we have some dirt, this might be a little bit of grease, here's our Zep Purple Power here, or Zep uh, Purple Cleaner. We'll go ahead and squirt a little bit just on these uh, dirty spots here, just to kind of loosen up that. Might be some underneath the brim, because I'm bad about grabbing the brim of my hat with my hands. And we'll go ahead and throw it in the water. And we're going to let this <coughs> soak for a little while and we'll get back to it here just in a little bit. Okay folks, hey, it's been about an hour and here's our hat laying here in dirty water as you can see. That water looks pretty dirty. 
we're going to go ahead and pull it out of here and we are going to start rinsing this thing off okay folks i think that just about does it we've got it rinsed off pretty good we're going to hang it up here on our gooseneck kitchen faucet and let that dry all night and as you can see it cleaned up pretty good all right friends thank you for watching the video today hopefully the questions that you guys had from the other video was answered and don't forget to subscribe leave us a comment and like us and we'll see you next time take care